Welcome back guys to Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door after defeating Gloomtail, getting hold of the star key after completing all the puzzles in here, and getting hold of a billion palace keys as well, we have all the keys we could ever ever wish for, ever want. So let's find out first of all, what the star key does. So it seems we found ourselves a use for all the other keys. Not hard to figure out what we're doing here, is it? We're so close to another level as well. One more fight and we'll be able to level up nicely. I think I'll take some more badge points then as well because of the customization options. Well, let's put all these keys in. It's one hell of a lock, that's for sure. Definitely did things in the wrong order. We should have beat Gloomtail first and then complete the puzzles, but still. Only two more to do, come on, come on! Let's find out what this lock unlocks. Assuming it requires a billion and one keys, it must be something important. Uh oh, it's moving! I'm not sure if that's an Udo kind of thing, but if the whole world starts shaking, huh? What? What is going on? It seems on the way to Gloomtel, we've created ourselves a set of stairs, but to where? What was that? Well, was that indeed? Well, we know where it is, so let's head there with all due haste. Too bad I can't just jump downstairs like a wee. Let's leg it there as fast as possible. Of course, we'll actually be boating it there. Well, nine keys used up in no time at all. Which is a shame, seeing we spent like the last 30 minutes collecting them. They're all used within a minute. Well, let's get you out, little Yosh, and get moving. To our destiny, deeper inside the Shadow Palace. We've been waiting for you, Mario. Who? Ah, wrong book, Frankly? Whoa, Professor Frankly, what are you doing here? I thought something was up. Thank you so much for opening the door for us, Mario. Yes, that was nice. Thanks to your do-good at predictability, my plan is progressing very smoothly. Opening the door for you? What do you mean by that, you purple witch? <laughs> so you still don't see it? Ah, such fools. The professor, frankly, you were with when you opened the thousand-year door. There's none other than this little freak in a sheet. Uh, yeah, my name's Duplis, but... <laughs> The real Frankly is leaping off a nasty bump on the head in the closet somewhere. Poor thing. And once we get rid of you here, our plan will be nearly complete. Ready for the end, my dears? You and that traitor Vivian have a date with eternity. Goo! <laughs> That's right, Slick! Eternity! Shut up, freak! Uh, okay, right, sorry. No way we go down, sister! You want a piece of this? Bring it on! As Olive says, come, my sort of lovelies, Marilyn, freak sheet. Grr. I said my name's Duplis. Poor guy. Who should we beat up first? Because this is going to be a mass battle with many, many opponents. All right, my kind of lovelies. This time we take out Mario and his goon squad for good. So, if I catch you slacking, you'll be in for incredible punishment come tomorrow. Grr. Okay, 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 okay! Duplis is worried of Bedlam. Can't flee this fight while well, we weren't expecting to. We weren't planning to either. Now, here's the real problem. If we move Goombella to the front lines here... Oh no, we've already actually got them all scanned. We don't have to find out what they are again. So we may as well swap partners straight away to Vivian. Switch it around again. And who should we focus on first? If I remember correctly... Our gur kind of person was a lot harder than others. Now let's see if we can do a spring jump on a smaller target. Let's see if we can get this right. 
Because I failed so massively with all that before. See, no problem on a bit smaller target. If, it, if I get time, it's fine. The fiery jinx sounds like a good idea. Set them all on fire, we'll be all good. Y B B B B. That was hard. It's my imagination, or are they getting easier lately? Are you okay, Marilyn? I'm gonna beat you up first, but dodging your attacks is a bit harder than I would expect. No! Nope. Uh. Remembering the timings is not as easy. I did not want to be put in a block of ice. This is horrible. And it seems Duplis is transforming into Vivian? Which actually means the Shadow Sirens are now complete. Weird. And I've already lost so much HP, it's ridiculous. Less chances to attack are now available. What on earth is going on here? Well, I kind of want to get rid of one of them, but I don't want to get frozen again, so I really should have taken out the one in the back first. Beldum. Okay. So why is Mario uh, Vivian attacking first? That's not very good. Hmm. I have this feeling that we are in deep trouble. Now, how to get past this? Miss Mouse, no, we could put a shell on Mario to keep his HP up a little bit here with some shell shield. And we got it on the best point. You're going for coops, are you? And I managed to block these at least, but coops doesn't have that much HP. More chances to attack are now available. What, for Beldum? Okay, we can attack again now, so we definitely want to take Beldum out in the back row first and foremost. Let's hope the spring jump works here. No problem at all. Right, you're nearly within striking range of defeat. In fact, anyone could probably get you here. Would Shell Slam be brilliant? I think a Power Shell would be good enough, wouldn't it? Hmm. Well, let's just change person to someone we know can do a lot of damage very, very quickly. In fact, no, I'm going to change back to Vivian yet again. Because Vivian, of course, can set the other guys on fire if we use Fiery Jinx. If we get it right, that is. Which isn't exactly hard. And there goes Beldum. <laughs> I'll leave the rest to you. Defeated. We'll level up from that so we know we're going to be full HP afterwards. Vivian on Vivian action. Okay, this is what I was worried about, but she wasn't exactly that fearsome or strong beforehand. So, a normal jump we could do to finish you off. Gah! After taking so much damage in those first rounds, everything seems to be going back our way again. Which I'm thankful for. Okay, who's throwing what? I can't see. Oh, we got hit with a can in the face. Let Bobbery do some work. And you've not got much HP left on you, madame. And you're actually dodging the shell shield completely here. Which makes sense, to be honest. But Mario, since we put that on, has been 100% safe. Which I like. We're going to level up anyway, so we may as well use the spring jump. See, I don't fail this way, he says. Jinx. Oh, I lost one damage on my attack there. Were you able to defeat Duplis? Shadow Sirens were complete yet again. It was weird. Oh, no! No problemo. Are oh, you not going to come and give me the lovely curse, which will double my star points and nearly give me a full level? That's sad. Once again, we level up. We'll take the badge points, of course, because we can do much more with those. Thank God I got through that okay. It was very, very harsh at the start. Ah, at this rate, she will never... Oof. I guess that was Beldum speaking. Ha 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 ha! Revenge is mine, Blair! Let's leave these cads, Mario! Yes, they're cads indeed. Someone said I should do it with Drippy's voice, but no. Bobbery is an English gentleman, you know. 
It's very obvious, but we use that. I know we just leveled up and healed, but it doesn't heal up all our partners, so that's the best way to go about things. You have been defeated! And we have leveled up once. Oh, no, I should equip my badge, shouldn't I? Now, what badge shall I take? Another stat based badge? We got an HP plus, an FP plus. Let's go with another FP plus, I think, for now. Probably go with an HP plus next time. Let's head down and grab this. And I'm going to land on his head, but I'm not going to get a preemptive attack, which is kind of weird. And there's quite a few of them, which is troublesome. Trouble indeed. Alright, let's find out exactly what a tornado jump does. Executes probably to damage all mid-air enemies. I'm, I'm hoping it doesn't do just one damage to the back rows, which I'm thinking is what it probably will do. As you land on a foe, press A, then the buttons you see. Still on the middle one. Okay, that's weird. But we got that no problem. It did two extra damage to the other ones, which means that Bomb Bombast will actually finish them off no problem at all. Oh no! They have a fair enough amount of defense. But I turn that on him, no problem. Super guard! Are you powering yourself up? Oh, you're multiplying. Which means that this is actually the good timing for Tornado Jump? Maybe, maybe not though. If I don't hit the right one... Yeah, that's what I was thinking. If I didn't hit the right one, we're not in... Well, we're not doing well. Vivian we should use something with FP that can hit everyone. I'm not sure Coops can actually hit... No, he can hit these guys, which means a Parashell will be good enough. And it was the guy in the front row all along. We'll take the happy number nine star points. Have we even get another level? And you're upping our amount of coins, madame? Well, you see, I just used some coins at the heart box, and we're all set. We don't really need more. I'll take the billion coins and easily hit up to 9999 again. All right, we've got a Thunder Rage here, but I'm not really sure I want to really get rid of anything. It's a really nice item, sure, but... I kind of like having health restoratives. We've got a shooting star as our attacking item of choice. Hammer you, sir. And this guy here has a Thunder Rage, but isn't the one behind the life room? But I can't get it because I've got... Ah! Oh. Kiss Fee sounds like a good idea right now to be able to get myself... Another life room would be brilliant, but I'm not sure I can actually get it unless it allows me to get rid of another item. Press A to stop the gauge after it passes okay. No, it just jumped straight past. It's only confused badges or something like that. Well, here we go with the multiple people yet again, and uh, well, doesn't that make it kind of obvious which one's the right one? Doesn't that seem a bit stupid to you? Because it seems a bit stupid to me. Who's throwing what? I couldn't see a honey syrup. So I guess just use Bobbery because he'll break through easy. I think Miss Mouse has enough damage with her damage go through ability anyway, but Bobbery's action command. So nice and easy. But now he's got a life stream, so he's just going to pop back up again. Which meant we could have never stole it, we could have never retrieved it. It sucks, and now we don't know which one's which. I was hoping a lucky guess. Should we just guess rather than using an FB ability? No such luck. I was thinking they might repeatedly put out extra copies, but no, no, not at all. We'll defeat you, sir, and move on. Another six star points, thank you. Where on earth are we headed? There's a door up above us, of course, but not really seeing much of a way to be able to reach it right now. Unless there's a pipe up above, but I doubt that. We just fly nowhere at all. Okay, obvious breakthrough point is obvious, and I didn't go around to flurry. I didn't see Ollie's hidden behind Vivian there. Let's head upwards. Set of stairs within a set of stairs. Olives, you'll be useful now, though. 
seems we've still got more puzzles abound as we go forward. But which way to head might be an interesting thing. Is there any kind of... Oh, okay, we got a red switch. Which opens up a platform, which will probably disappear as I try to jump over. Which means this is a job. The coops. Haven't done this in a long time, have we? No problemo. Now are there any enemies waiting for us? No, no, sorry. I'll take this repel cape so I can chuck it away again. Whee! And head through to the next one. What's going on here? Well, we got ourselves a door. We need to rearrange these somehow to be able to get past. So let's just keep following the path and hope for the best. Well, it's green and yellow. So I'm guessing they respond to the previous room. Or correspond to. We move down green. We can get over with Ollie's. We should be able to anyway. No problemo. But I think we still need to move some stuff around here. Let's have a look. Alright, the green block's down here, purple, red, so we needed to actually go down there and activate the purple. I would wonder if we can just roll under and have a look on the other side. No, nothing at all? Okay. So we- Oh god, a jump! That scared me gone, my god! Let me, let me, let me, let me just rest a second. I, I kind of need to. That was quite shocking. Well, at least we know how to head back up and round again. But please, don't do that again, game. Don't do it again. Blooming chomps. Oh, the one thing we wanted to test out with them as well, we can't do with a spin hammer to see if it works. Oh, you've got a ton of defenses, haven't you, sir? So I can't... Oh, no, I can't actually do free damage. No problemo. Five defense. We break through no problem. And I'm just watching the star point counter get bigger and bigger and bigger. Okay, we've got a spring to get us back up again, so that's not harsh at all. That's quite good of it. So if we use Yosh... To go over once again... And then jump down here... I'm wondering if we can drop in here and check if something is around, but... Okay, I don't know where we're going here. There might have been something up above. But I'm just going to go through this door. Seems like we were having a good thing there. No! Oh, spikes as well? How on earth am I supposed to make it past here then? All right, there must be more to do in the... Oh, no! What am I thinking? Look up, Sam! Look up at the roof! There are pipes, very, very ornate pipes that can lead us through this problem. And to be honest, they line up. Oh, poor little Ollis the Yosh. My poor bum. There's lovely little yellow lines that tell us exactly where we can go. Hopefully exactly where we can fall as well. What's onwards past this point? We'll never know because I'm going through here. Don't want to be spiked by any more. All right, we've got a red switch, green flame. Oi. Gotta use our hammer, we're not jumping on you, you fiery guy. Quite a few of you as well. Alright, so how to dispatch a few nice and fast? Well, we got ourselves a ton of star points. Why not just supernova? Or star things, anyway. Tap A as fast as possible time, here we go! One. Two. Three! Four! Ah, the hand! Five! No problem for a full 15 damage! I wonder how much damage you do at four, because I could really stop there. I keep getting comments even now, right? Um, remember the. Oh, room powder? I'll chuck that away. Bye, 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 bye. 
I still get comments even now. Remember the old Star Fox Let's Play, Star Fox Adventures, about the test of strength, which requires you to just press A very, very fast. And people still think that I... Well, don't know how I did it. And some have even said, oh, he's obviously cheating using an emulator and a keyboard to, with auto-fire. And it's just pressing A. It's not the hardest thing in the world to do. I've never emulated any of my games either, which is another comment I keep getting. Ah, more monsters abound. Let's run away and tackle them next episode. Because <laughs> I've talked my way past our time limit. So join me for more Paper Mario next time. As we explore more of this Shadow Palace, because it seems endless, endless puzzles still await us. See you then. Bye-bye.